Hi, this is Deborah Atkinson, and this is the Flipping 50 Show, the place to reset, tune up, and prepare for your second and better half with the vitality and the energy that you want. In every episode, I answer questions from women just like you about what they're struggling with most. I provide the solutions to what to eat and when, how to move and when, and your biggest time issues. So you can focus on the one or two key things that get you the most results in the least amount of time. Send me your question to flipping50tv.com. And if I choose your question for the show, I'm gonna send you exclusive access to some gifts and goodies. I'll tell you more about later, so stay tuned. But even if I don't choose your question for the show, immediately you get access to Muscles in Minutes, my guide for toning those hard to tone areas easily. Today's question is from Susan, who tells me a lot about her life situation before she ever asks her question. Susan writes, the job offers in shows as a singer entertainer, which was my life's work, slowed down and that triggered depression, resulting in more weight gain, depression, comfort food, lethargy. My last job was in 2011. In 2012, with no work, was a low point in my life. Along with my lost figure, I lost zest for life. While I love my husband, I have zero interest in sex, mostly because I can't stand the thought of him seeing or touching these extra 50 pounds. I don't want to be seen in public, especially by my former entertainer friends who still look like a million bucks. We miss out on a lot of experiences because of negative self-image. I guess my question for you would be, how do I find the motivation to start and then how do I stay motivated? to get where I want to be, fitness level wise. Susan, I'm so glad you asked and thanks for all the background that really helps me out. What we're gonna do is focus on the mindset of motivation today. Susan, three things jump out for me about how to get you what you want, feeling the way you wanna feel. Bliss chart, and we're gonna talk a lot more about that in a minute and minute made meals so that you're planning your breakfast, lunch, and your dinner and there are no accidents. And then last, your muscles in minutes. So we talked about, you talked about in your application how you know strength training is probably the key. And I'm gonna give you a basic strength training set so that you're gonna get the most results in the least amount of time. Back to Bliss Chart. So Susan, the facts are I can give you the greatest exercise prescription in the world, and I can give you a nutrition or a meal plan to follow, but the motivation is your question. And you know that without the reason, the why, to get up and do those things and take really great care of yourself, it's not gonna happen. The bliss charge is about this. In your description of what's going on in your life, before you even got to your question, you told me you love singing but you're not singing, so let's start. Let's not wait for good things to find you. Let's go get them. So Susan, you love to sing. So if you love to sing in front of an audience, go and do that, get started right now. Coffee shops, but I also have a few more ideas. YouTube, number one. So anybody today can create a YouTube channel and what you're gonna do is give yourself a deadline, give yourself a gig. Next week, decide, you're gonna prepare three songs you're gonna put them on a playlist and get started. You have your own date, your own deadline, your own pressure, and your own reason to sing. Again, number two is something called gigmaster.com, and I'm not affiliated, but it's a way to, for about $150, put your name out there for three months and see what happens. Let people find you easily. And we're coming into seasons where a lot of people are looking for someone to sing holiday tunes. After that, there's Valentine's Day. Then it's wedding season. So let's figure out a way to get you out there and thinking about how to make it easy for people to find you so that you can do what your life's joy and passion is and get a little bit motivated about taking great care of yourself. And I have another idea. Right now, is the time for to start dressing for success. We're not gonna wait until things are perfect. I want you to look and feel your best while you're getting where you wanna go. So we're gonna go get fitted right now to look great going through these steps. 
Hey, Nicole. Hey, welcome to Skirt Sports. Thanks, I'm so excited. You. Let's get started. Let's do it. So I'm here with Nicole De Bloom at Skirt Sports, and we're gonna ask you a few questions, Nicole. How do you get us suited up to look good and feel good while we're getting to the point where we really want to get to? Well, you know, I think the first thing is to make sure that the person you're outfitting feels comfortable because a woman's relationship with her body is the most important relationship she has, but it can be a little bit of a troubled relationship, which is why we're sitting here. So a lot of times women think they have no idea what styles that look good on their bodies or what they gravitate to, but they really do. They have preferences. Uh, you really need to establish some trust with women and, and really try to relate to them first and explain, like, I'm not a perfect person myself. I have these things about my body that I don't feel great about. And I have these things about my body that I love about myself. So our goal is to help women feel happy, help them feel comfortable and confident in their clothing. So we can get down and dirty on what styles fit a woman's body without having to really guess if we just ask the right questions. So let's get down and dirty. What are the right questions? Well, okay, first of all, is what parts of a woman's body she feels great about and what parts of a woman's body she's a little more insecure about. And once we figure that out, so you say, hey, how do you feel about your hips? Do you wanna show them off a little more? Do you want them to sort of blend in? How do you feel about your knees? Do you really want your knees to show? A lot of women don't want their knees to show at all. So we have styles that can still imitate the look of maybe say a shorter fitness skirt, but they've got capris built in. A lot of women have issues where they don't like to show their upper arms. And definitely if we just get started talking about the middle, there's a lot of, there's a lot of discussion about the middle. The really interesting and cool thing about women, and, and I love this and I embrace it so much, is that pretty much every woman walks in the door and the first thing she says is, my body is weird, I need some help. And then I just laugh and we all laugh and we go, well guess what, we're all weird. Our bodies are all weird. That's what makes us unique and they're all beautiful and they're all great and we can help put you in clothing that's gonna make you feel great in your body. Okay, so if you were gonna give some advice on you know, you get a woman who's not really best friends forever with her hips. What do you, what's the general advice? So there's a few rules of thumb. Um, anytime you have a very lightweight, silky, slinky type fabric, it's going to show more bumps and bulges and all that stuff. When you have a little heavier uh, fabric with a little more structure, it's going to maybe hide or smooth things a little more. We offer both options. Um, black is often a go-to for women, but black isn't always the answer if you want to blend in or hide things in your body. And really our answer is to showcase the things about yourself that are great. So if you want to be bold, you're going to wear bold, bright colors. If you do want to kind of slim or show or, or hide a little bit more, you're going to use black or print. Prints are great actually for sort of slimming and, and especially places around the middle because you can't see what's going on under a print. It all blends in. Women's bodies, we're curvy. That's who we are. Men, you're a little straighter for the most part, right? So uh, that, I think those are some really good rules of thumb. So Nicole, I'd love to see you in action. Let's get a couple of people and fit them so Can't they feel wait. fabulous. It's All gonna right. be awesome. <laughs> These are my ladies. Welcome. I'm so glad to outfit you both today. It's gonna be a blast. Okay, let's talk about your bodies. You ready? All right. Yep. How would you describe your body? Mm, hourglassy. Oh, I like that. Yeah. And maybe on the slightly height challenge side. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> so, so we're talking about getting things that aren't too too long or too high waisted on you. Uh, yeah, it, but long enough long to cover enough. up some of the stuff you want to cover up and okay, still great. feel really great. Yep, okay, good. I think that's a theme we're going to hear a lot. Okay, tell me about your body. This. Mm, yeah, this, stuff yes. like this. Uh, a lot of us so, can relate to mm -hmm. this. This is an important thing though for us, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. so we're going to work on finding outfits that help you feel beautiful in the body you have today. Awesome. Because we got to get rid of that whole concept that you got to go out and get in shape to get in clothing. Exactly. That's, that's just not even true. All right, we're going to do it. So today, we're going to outfit both of you. We're going to try a bunch of things on. Yep. You're going to go through some things that may not work for you. You're going to go through some things that are going to be great. And I'm going to give you the final judgment. How does it sound? Sounds Perfect. great. All right, let's do it. Yay. Come on, it bring it in. Right. 
Okay. All right. First of all, how do you feel? Um, this is good. I like this part. Yeah, it's really accentuating mm -hmm. that you have a really small mm -hmm. waist and beautiful mm -hmm. curve. I'm not sure about this. Yeah. So my take is, turn around, skip the bottom. So I'm thinking that this is not the right style bottom for you for a couple of reasons. I think the length, it's, it's not making your legs look longer. I think the ruffles are not doing what they need to do. So I'm thinking that we're gonna swap. I think the top is a great top for you, but okay. I do wanna see you in some other tops as well. Okay. Um, let's try a bottom, let's try on one of the Capri styles, okay. okay? Either the one with the skirt or without a skirt, and switch out your top two and see how you feel in something maybe there. longer sleeve or something. Very cute, okay, I love this bottom. Love. It's, cute. it's really super like cute it. and it comes up a little higher, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. It does. And I think that uh, gives you a little more support in the mm -hmm. belly, which is an area that we talked about. Now, if you're ever having a day where you really don't want that support in the belly, like it's mm -hmm. Thanksgiving and you want to eat more and, mm -hmm. and you just roll that waistband down. Oh. So I think that's a really important feature. Does this feel like it fits? Because it's really cute on mm -hmm. you. Do you like it? I do. Awesome. The top, I think, is awesome. It might be a size too big. big. Yeah. So I'm going to grab you a medium, and then we're rocking. Okay. We're rocking and rolling. This one I like. I like it a lot. Yeah. It looks great. The Redemption Capri on you fits like a longer Capri. Right. Because of the height right. challenge, which right. we love and right. is perfect. Um, and if you had put a full tight on, it would be all bunched up. So I think that's a really great right. style for you. And it's got two pockets as well. Yes. One in the back, back and a key pocket. The T looks amazing. Mm -hmm. It really, it flows. Right. This and is the, the colors, right one, yeah, sure. the colors yes, look, looking. the colors look great too. Nailed it! Nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> Do you feel good? Mm -hmm. Do you like this top? Mm -hmm. It's really, really cute. cute, actually. I think the whole style is flattering. The big issue you said you had was the middle. Mm -hmm. You are camouflaged. Yeah, you look yeah, smooth. Yeah. You look amazing. And um, the skirt you have on is a little bit longer on the skirt, mm -hmm. right? So you're going to have a little bit of extra coverage exactly. there. Exactly. Yep, but it's Very a lighter nice. weight skirt with a little heavier weight, more compressive leggings. Mm -hmm. Ladies, Yay. we did it. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Nicole, that was awesome to watch. So I could see when they came out and they were in the right outfit, they didn't have to say anything. You could just see it. What did you think about the process? Well, it's a really interesting process because sometimes you're not sure how they feel in the outfit. It might look good to you, it might not look as good to them or vice versa. So you really have to get down and dirty into their emotion and how they feel. Like you said, they light up. And they were so ready to rock and head out on the trails. Thanks so much for doing this. You know, a woman's journey requires all the facets to come together and their clothing and how they feel in their bodies is a really big part of it. So thank you for what you're doing. Absolutely, <laughs> and don't wait, start now. Dress for success. <laughs> now, we're gonna move on and get to these other two steps. Susan, for your Minute Made meals, we're gonna keep it simple. Number one, you're gonna start with a breakfast of 35 grams of protein. Whether that comes from a convenient smoothie or it comes from something else, that's up to you. Number two, reduce your intake of sugar. Even if it comes from fruit, you're feeding that desire for sugar, which is not gonna help your motivation and the way you feel about losing your weight and getting to your optimal, ideal Susan-ism. Number three, keep things simple. I've got a little picnic here got some raw cashews, so healthy protein and fat. I've got an avocado, so I'm keeping the green and getting in a little bit more healthy fat here. You can peel this and eat it just like an orange. And I've got a little protein. So in the way of shrimp, just to carry about four to six ounces with me wherever I am, no matter where that is in the world, make it simple to do the right thing. When you go to Flipping 50 TV tab for today's episode, what you're going to find is the basic training guide so that you know exactly what strength training exercises and what cardiovascular intervals to do specifically 
day to day, all week long. So that now that you have the motivation to do the exercises, you're gonna get it done efficiently and effectively. The key flip for today is plan ahead and start living right now, no waiting. Susan, thanks for sending your question and send me a singing telegram and let me know how it goes. And now I'd like to hear from you. What's your question? What's your biggest challenge? Send it to me at flipping50tv.com. If I choose your question for the show, I send you exclusive access to the After 50 Fitness Formula for Women online course. I send you, you still got it girl, my book, and my friends at Anne Marie Skincare send you a trio of full-size products that you're gonna love. Even if I don't choose your question, you get immediate access to Muscles in Minutes, my guide with over 40 illustrations of how to start, how to stop exercise, and how to make the most effective exercises work for you. What are you waiting for? Let's start flipping 50 together.